there are two things are there the ring as well as the the rope ring little bit thick and make it okay fine some that uh, th th there's a rope this part is what rope here also we have rope and this is ring this is actually the the thing the rope that is wound on the ring will have a mass m and the and, and the ring is having a mass m now what will happen to this this will start falling no this one okay can you say anything about the rope what is the rope what is the state of the rope upper part of the rope will be taut what about the lower part of the rope will also be because the, the rope rope is around the thin ring and the mass of the segment of the rope around the is also m the rope is in fact is having a mass hmm? let's not this one the mass of the rope that is wound on the ring will be m all the time so definitely the rope is having a mass so what can be tension where tension will be more at up or down at the upper part or lower part of the rope upper part the upper part tension be more so here t1 you write here t2 then here 2mg now now you get into the discussion t1 t2 here mg and i can say t1 greater than t2 anything will happen to the motion that t1 minus t2 let it be result in tension and what should be the acceleration of point p so this is the center of mass see i am i am i know few things i am helping i am taking help of this one so what is this this, this it will be like this no the the string will be owned the, the other part will come so th this is the this part i'll i'll do one thing we can the upper part of the rope i'll show by some other color so that will be easy for you what we are discussing just for our convenient purpose no i'll look at this one so there's a point p and and let this be q what should be the acceleration of point q should be zero no it is connected to rigid one so what should be the acceleration of point p should also be zero along y axis then t1 greater than t2 what is the tendency so this will have rotational motion about center of mass and center of mass will accelerate i am thinking like this let's see what all i can get it so mg minus t1 minus t2 let it be t the difference in tension Two mg, huh? it should be two mg. Mass of the rope, mass of the ring. Hmm? So two mg minus two m ac. Then t into r should be equal to ic into alpha c. Now what is ic? Ic should be equal to two times of m r square. Okay, only this much. Uh, why? Why two? Because both ring as well as well, I will write it. How many unknowns are there? A C alpha C and T tension. I need one more equation. I, I'll look at the take help of point P. Acceleration of point P along y axis should be equal to acceleration of Q should be zero. They they lie on the string. Yeah. So what is the acceleration of point P P Y? This should be equal to A C minus R alpha C.
solve this, you'll get the required answer. Okay, the, this is the best approach what you, you can have. And this is one ideal case we are discussing actually. Uh, the, the thing is here, moment of inertia will not be MR square because slightly some part of the rope, no? Uh, you can see in the diagram he has made clear. And there's some approximation will not be exact. Go for next question. Same thing. Huh? 